What's up, YouTube? It's uh, 7.23. This is a follow-up to my latest post that was yesterday. This pile has just been pruned off of these plants. That's a bunch of trimmings. This is the third time I've done this this season to these plants. And it, if you can look at them, it doesn't even, even look like I've messed with them uh, I just trimmed the cherry a bunch and, and it doesn't even look like it's been trimmed up um, my lowest fruit clusters like if this guy was ripe this would be gone once it was tomato came off um, I just did it here on these um, I always take everything below the lowest fruit off um, been blessed with the gift of the horn tomato worm this morning when I got up and I picked five off of plants these plants and some of those plants there along with various black gray and green uh, caterpillars but the horn worms were there and then in a matter of days they will eradicate a plant if you don't know they're there but that's why I'm doing some trimming uh, I'm trimming off the stuff they'd eaten squished them, fed them to the birds, tied some of these plants up. This plant here has gotten out of control. Um, when they say indeterminate, they mean it. But as you can see, I'm trying to take out some of the foliage, 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 whatever you call it. I call it stems and leaves. But, uh, you can see that back of the plants come off there, come down. I don't know if you can see it with the light. I'm just letting that fall, I'll probably trim some there, but uh, anything that gets to looking crappy, looking bad, like this here, I take my trusty old Fiskars, cut it back to the decent looking growth. Um, you actually need a set about neck size up on these Fiskars for these plants. Uh, they've got such thick, thick stems, I and mean, you can see there my pinky not much bigger than the leaf stems but uh, they're hard in this uh, they're hard in the hydroponics stout hardy plants and the stems are hard um, but anyways I'm taking some stuff off that pile is the third time this year and I'm gonna continue to cut here uh, on these plants and trim them off um, got caterpillars in there and plus they're just there's so much growth. I need some airflow in there. I hadn't had any disease problems, but the caterpillars are in there. So now it's time to open it up where I can pick them off easier. Um, they've been on the tops up there. Your caterpillars will go to the top of the plant in the morning. So look for them there. They'll be at the top of the stems, sitting at the top of the plants, motionless. You can see some of that in there. They were chewing that. Um, I got on a ladder. Picked quite a few of them out of the top this morning. Uh, and also, this was my Dutch bucket grow I was talking about. Um, these cuttings came off of those plants on the railing there. Uh, those are... Um, Mr. Stripey's came from over to Buddy's garden. But uh, as you can see, they're... We're taking it off. It's about 6.0 and 800 parts per million down there in the tub. I'll give you a shot here of it. But, uh, you can see the root structure there. It just is a all the way there. There's tons of roots uh, oxygenating the root system. Give you a look inside. You can see in there. See the roots there, They're massive. Go down. Um, I'm just running a air stone, two air stones in there, about five inch disc air stones on pump, wide open. 6.0 in the uh, mix with the pH and about eight to 900 parts per million. And once they get to flower in size, I'll hop it up. But uh, I'm kind of wondering if in this uh, deep water culture since it's in the mix constantly 
I might not need to feed it as heavily. But I don't know why the camera won't focus. Uh, only got some moisture on the lens. But anyways, that's my Dutch bucket or uh, deep water culture. One second. got some water on the lens but anyways these are stripies and a big beef of course fastest growing of them all the cherry and another mr. stripey here and luckily the caterpillars have stayed off of these guys so far so just came on to the squirrels in my plants on the rail there so sprayed it down with some vermin repellent some crushed peppers habaneros they have heat receptors like we do and they don't like heat so it's been working pretty good but anyways just wanted to do an update about pruning that I, I have pruned them three times and not just because they needed it uh, because uh, it helps them get rid of unwanted uh, you know if you got an over abundance of leaves and stems they're really just feeding the plant for its leaves and stems instead of the fruit but check it out thanks for watching